Hey, this is Digital by Computing, and today we're gonna to look at how to lock an application on your iPad. So this is an application that you don't want somebody to be able to get out of easily. Uh, you can disable things like the touch screen, you can disable the, the buttons on your iPad. So you can actually essentially lock down the iPad and only accessible by an authorized person. Let's look at how to do it right now. So from your home screen, we're gonna go into the settings area and into the general tab here. And we're gonna go down to this option called accessibility. We click on that. And then down the very bottom, you've got an option here called guided access. All right, we're gonna go ahead into this. So what guided access will let you do is it keeps the iPad, as it says, in a single application, allows you to control which features are available. So you can lock a lot of features down so that you can essentially uh, have control so you can't get out of you know, applications unless you do a, a specific thing. In this case, triple clicking the home button, as it states, will get you out of this guided access area. So let's show you how this works. We're gonna turn this feature on and we're gonna put in a passcode, all right? Put in a passcode that is obviously secure because it defeats the purpose if somebody knows how to triple click uh, and gets out of it without a secure password. So put in something that's a bit secure. Just for now, we're gonna put in four ones. So that now has a password setting enabled by default. So I'm now gonna get out of my iPad and I'm gonna open up an application. Guitar Toolkit. All right, this is an application. Let's say I'm in a music store, for example. And this is this particular application. And I want the person who is using this particular iPad to not have access to anything except for this application. So at the moment, I can just click on the home button and I can get out, All right? I can you know, do my volumes up and down and I can do whatever I really want. So to turn this feature on, I triple click on the home button. So here I am in the guided access mode. All right, and you'll see there's a few options down the bottom. I can do hardware buttons. I can change some button settings on there. I can turn touch on and off, and I can also put time limits on the application. So let's go into the options area. And there's a few different options here around disabling buttons and motions and keyboards, etc. So you'll see that by default, I've got sleep, wake button, and volume buttons are disabled. All right, so that means when I go into my guided access which is now started i can click on the volume buttons i can click on my home button and nothing happens i can't get out but you see that on the top of the screen there it does say triple click the home button to exit so i can now triple click that home button put in my pin code and i'm now presented back to the guided access area i can then go and turn touch off Resume. So now I cannot actually navigate on the screen. I can't do anything. So this is helpful in the scenario where you've got a demo playing or there's a movie playing or something like that where you don't want to be able to um, you know, have uh, anybody touch on the screen or get out of that screen. Three buttons again and put in my pin code to go back into this area. And then I can finally put in some time limits. You know, how long do I want this application to be running? This is a great feature, um, which, you know, if you want, you know, let's say you're open, you're in a shop, eight hours, by default, you want that on, and that's it, resume. And that will now have a countdown of eight hours uh, and, and, you know, and change, all right? So triple click to go back in, put in my pin code, and then I can just end. And then I'm presented back to my home screen into general accessibility and turn my guided access off if I don't want to use it anymore. Nice and easy, how to lock your screen. So there you have it. 
I hope you found this guide helpful. Uh, I would love it if you commented below. It really does help me know what you guys are interested in and what you thought of the video. It also helps me to grow my channel and, and reach more and more people. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Bike Computing, just on the button there for more videos.